When I think about trust, it's something that I feel is that's supposed to be earned. But thinking about it, we often trust people and services without giving it much consideration. I was thinking about a trip recently my wife went on, my wife and I went on to Vietnam and we arrived at the airport in Hanoi and we used one of the apps like Uber to you know, jump in a car that would take us uh, downtown to our hotel. And obviously to some level we, we trusted the service and the driver because we just got in and went. And immediately that trust was diminished significantly. Um, we left the airport and shortly after taking off the driver started frantically communicating something to us. He was using a little um, translation device on his phone and basically what we figured out was he wanted us to cancel the service through the app and just pay him cash directly so he wouldn't lose 20% of the fare. So this put me on edge a little. I figured, all right, we're gonna get ripped off somehow. Uh, you know, didn't get to pay with a credit card. Um, it wasn't ideal, but I figured we'd, we'd live through it. So there we were, driving into town, heading along the way. Things are, are going all right, although we're a little concerned about our, our drive and how much we were going to be forced to pay once we arrived to our hotel. We're cruising along this, you know, six lane road, I think, and the driver's just been chatting away on his phone the whole time. And he just stops on the side of the road in the middle of traffic, just pulls off and he's still talking on his phone. So, you know, my wife and I are looking at each other like, hmm. Okay, what's going on now? You know, are, is this where we get kidnapped? I don't know. Are we going to get robbed? You know, of course, our mind starts going to, to dark places. And at this point, I'm pulling out my translation app and trying to listen to what he's saying into the phone, trying to get some sort of translation. But, you know, it's not helping. Some some random words are, are popping up that don't really make any sense. And, and the driver gets out of the car and you know it just turned out he was wanting to wipe the side view mirrors and some of the windows because it was raining really hard and he was struggling to see so sure we were overreacting but hoping for the best and things didn't turn out to be so dire and ultimately we made it to our hotel safe and sound. We, we paid the same amount through the app, of course with cash, but all things worked out in the end. Trust is involved in any legitimate asset protection plan. Why is that? Because to have a real asset protection plan, you have to have somebody on your team to be able to help you. If you're in control of your entire asset protection plan, you don't really have any protection. Basically, if, if you can control everything, then if you get into some sort of legal trouble, a judge can tell you what to do with your stuff, and since you're the only one in charge, you're gonna have to do it. So, to have real protection, you're going to have to trust somebody to be there for you, to help you when they are needed. So who can you trust to help with your asset protection plan? A lot of people, when they think of someone they trust, they're thinking about a, a family or friend, but they're not really a good choice because they wouldn't know what to do in case they were needed. Like if. You know, you run into some legal problems, you have your asset protection plan in place. Is your friend or family member gonna know what to do when they're needed? So typically, people are picking a professional. They're trying to find a professional that they trust 
So that's why I have been working and constantly work to develop a network of people that I trust and can recommend to my clients to help with their plans. And I put a lot of work into building and, and maintaining this network. You know, I've, I've traveled across the globe uh, to meet with these people in their offices. Uh, in some cases, I've, I've worked with them behind the scenes to, to get a good idea on how they work and who they are. I actually have a, a conference I'll be traveling to soon and it just gives me the opportunity to meet with these people to, to continue to verify that uh, trusting relationship and, and making sure everything's going well with them so that I know when I recommend them to be involved in, in one of my clients' plans that uh, I know that they can be trusted to give them a, a good service and be a valuable and re reliable member of their team. Thank you for watching. I'm Colin Lay with Lay Roots. I hope you find this video helpful in finding a trusted member for your team.